Hi there, friends. So tomorrow is my next prosthetics appointment. I'm headed up there. I've had my leg all week, but I've not been able to use it because my leg has been in a lot of pain from the uh, fall that I had, and you're not supposed to use your leg, apparently, if it hurts. Uh, that's something I'm learning, but I was sitting here journaling tonight and was just super antsy and anxious and didn't want to write anything, like just wanted to avoid anything mental health related or like taking the time to calm down and focus. And that's usually a good indication to me that I probably should do just that. As I was trying to pinpoint where my anxiety was coming from, I realized a big part of it is tomorrow's appointment that I feel like I'm doing all like everything wrong. I feel like I'm not healing fast enough or like I'm rushing things. I feel like I'm not using my leg enough or I'm using it too much. I feel like I overestimate pain or I underestimate pain. I feel like whatever I am doing, I'm just, I must be doing it wrong. Everyone says like over and over and over again that like everyone's journey is unique. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I realize I'm scared for this whole process. It's easy for me in some ways to like smile and to have a good time with this and to like in the moments I can embrace it and have a fun time with it and like be open to what life holds now even though it's never what I projected or expected but there's another part of me that's completely petrified and I think that comes out on days where I specifically am meeting with my prospects team. I don't know why, but that seems to be when it happens. And as I'm thinking about tomorrow, like I'm scared. I'm certain that tomorrow will go well. I'm certain I'll walk away from it feeling better and that it's not something to be scared of, but I'm scared right now. Ooh, I almost fell there. Uh, good morning, everybody. It is way too early. I got a whole two hours of sleep and I'm packing up my Super sparkly backpack. I call this my MBT backpack. Oh god, I'm out of breath again from like whew, hopping two steps. I'll get my stamina back one day. Um, so in my MBT pack, which my husband hates by the way, he thinks it's like horrendously ugly, which makes me even happier because he has to be seen in public with me with it. I have uh, things like my socks. So basically, you wear these when your leg starts changing shape throughout the day and I almost forgot these because we gotta head to my prosthetics appointment. So, let's get going. All right, getting my leg on before we head on in. Denver today, uh, we got hit and now our trunk won't close. I was able to walk for the first time, but uh, my neck's all messed up and my shoulder's all messed up and I've got a migraine coming on. It will be okay. Everyone's basically all right. I was laying down in the back seat with my leg up and um, my neck kind of got messed up a little bit more, but hey, that's okay. Uh, it happens. I kind of got really shaken up by it, so um, canceled my second prosthetics appointment. I usually have two in one day, so we don't have to drive so much. But um, I said I just want to go home. So we're trying to get our trunk fixed, as you can see behind me, because it won't close anymore because our frame got messed up. Um, good news is I walked for the first time without any assistance, so that's cool. And I'll be picking up my, not final prosthetics leg, but the uh, one with like actual carbon fiber on Friday. That's neat, but uh, I'm really looking forward to getting home and getting off the road because I've been in a lot of car accidents, as I'm sure a lot of people can relate to, and um, yeah, it kind of shakes me up. Also, I got scheduled to go in and finally see my doctor again. Um, my leg isn't healing up from that fall, so we're gonna go get an x-rayed again. That's gonna be on Thursday, so I'm looking forward to um, chatting with him and seeing what's going on with my leg. I'm sure it'll heal, I'm sure it'll be fine, but it is weird that it's taken um, so long to kind of heal up. Just wanna make sure there's no like bone bruises or you know chips or anything like that, so we'll get that checked out. Please notice the uh, sea of blankets 
behind me because like I said, I live in a sea of blankets before. Um, so I am safely home. I've been home for a couple hours now and uh, he, uh, putting heat on my neck so it's starting to feel a little bit better. But I thought I would take this moment to answer a question a lot of people ask me, which is like, how do you stay so positive? And um, I wanted to share my big secret with you guys. It's that I have breakdowns on the regular. I'll take like a solid two hour chunk and like curl up under my sea of blankets on the couch and just put on a movie that like makes me all teary eyed and so I can like feel emotion through that because I can't really just like cry on my own because I'm not that healthy emotionally just yet and feel sad or angry or bitter or upset at how unfair the world is and and then at the end of two hours I'll put myself back together and be like, all right, well, that was a fun little pity party and uh, let's move on with life now. <laughs> sometimes it lasts a little bit longer. Sometimes it's a little bit shorter. Sometimes I sink in depression for days because I definitely, definitely, definitely struggle with that. But for the most part, I attempt to be open to what life has and I have great people around me like you guys, for instance, to encourage me, and like Brian, and like my mom, and my dad, and my brother, and my good friends. Um, so, I mean, don't share the secret, guys. If it got out, I mean, it could ruin the world. Just kidding. Uh, there's really no secret, and I'm not positive all the time. I just take moments to definitely, like, break down and just lose it for a few minutes, or a few hours, or a day or two at a time, and then come back ready to like face life again or fight life again or whatever that is so I'm curious what you guys do like do you uh, have many breakdowns or do you like store it up for a year and then just like crash and burn for a week do you never feel anything I mean we all deal with things pretty differently I would love to hear what you do um, thank you guys for watching. By the way, it was really cool that I got to take my first steps today, uh, unassisted. Like, that was pretty, that was pretty cool, thinking about it now. Um, I'm excited about that. That's like real progress. I didn't really expect that to happen this week. Uh, so that's good news for today. I'll be honest, like, the car crash this morning really weirded me out and like made me super shaky and odd. Um, so I'm probably gonna chill at home the rest of the day and just kind of take it easy. I hope you guys are having lovely days or evenings or middle of the nights or mornings or whatever time of day it is whenever you're watching this. You guys are fabulous. I love you dearly. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.